Edie. Hi, Stevie. It's nice to meet you. Oh. It's a pleasure to be here, too. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's great. It's right, great. let's it's get fantastic. straight into it. Yeah. I cannot tell you how delighted I'm being, uh, how delighted I'm uh, To meet me? I've got a really hard time. I'm delighted to be here. It was a delight to meet you, Stevie. The thing is neutral. <laughs> neutral or neutral? Okay. Question okay. one, Edie. Okay. At what age were you when you wanted to start your band? Oh, thank God for that. I wonder what question you were going to ask there. Mm. Oh, they get what worse. was the question again? <laughs> At what age were you when you wanted to start your band? Uh, well, I've been in various bands over the years, Stevie. I thought you said you researched your subject. I'll put it politely. I'll be out of here if you haven't researched your question correctly, okay? But don't you ain't go asking any controversial questions because everything you're going to ask may not be true. Okay. Where, anyway, I'm sorry, I'm where, sorry. Where, hang where, on, hang on. Hang you on. Are in drink. Then. I ain't oh. got damn drink. Okay. All right, the band Cut this out. I don't want them to see that I'm a goddamn diva chick. All right. Stop. Yeah. Okay. Let's start again. Okay. All right, question one. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. At what sure. age were you when you wanted to start making music? I wonder what and you're going to say then as well. My God, you certainly worked those questions in a strange Performing reason. a band. This okay, is still okay. question one. I'm sorry, I keep interrupting. I'm re... I know, I mean, my therapist told me i got to stop. You know, i got to listen to the other person and let them finish. You know, I'm in my 40s now. I've been around a long time, you know what I mean? Okay, what was the question again? Come on. <laughs> what age were you when you wanted to start a band? Oh, my God, Stevie, that's a hard... That's a good question, and that's a hard question. Um, I'll move on to question two. No, no, let me think about that. Let me, hang on, just one thing at a time. I can only observe. Observe? Obs absorb. Absorb. I can only absorb so much at one time. So much, <coughs> my, I've been through so much over the years. It looks like it. My mama, she was a uh, piano player at a classical, uh, just a small classical, um, not orchestra, but like a small classical unit type of thing. Right. Oh, that sounds really good. So my father, he was, uh, he was a jazz musician in New Orleans, although he was born in Britain, so I've got a kind of uh, Anglo-American kind of, uh, you know, um, upbringing, so I'm some half English, half American, if you know what I'm saying. Back in the 70s, I met Richie Blackmore, and I uh, went to that Frank Zappa concert that he wrote about, and that was, um, my God, my memory so bad, I cannot tell the difference between... What's it? What's in my head? And what's a real memory? Like um, I was at the Frank Zappa concert when that firework apparently, uh, you know, uh, set fire to the whole stadium type of thing. I was there, but I was so goddamn <coughs> high on psychedelics, I didn't know whether it was a real fire or an imaginary fire. And still to this day, I see the papers and I think, my God, I hallucinated the whole goddamn incident. Then. I had a wild time though, Stevie. I bet you did. Okay. okay, Edie. So we know when you started. Uh, what kind of music do you play? Or well, started playing and up to where you are now? You know, I'm a 70s girl. You know, I was, I was brought up in, I love 70s rock. You know, on the radio, we listen to 70s rock. Um, well, it wasn't so much of it back then. Oh, I love Boston, man. Mm -hmm. But you know, Eddie Van Halen, he came around, I don't know, uh, what was that, 1976, 1977? He blew my head away, Steve. I bet you I saw, I saw... But you blew him Oh, my you? God, you can't say things like that. You know what? <laughs> I just did. <laughs> Why do you goddamn male chauvinist interviewers always come up with stuff like that? You think I'm a goddamn tar or something? God damn it, cut this goddamn bit out, please. <laughs> yeah, so as I say, yeah, uh, um, <coughs> Yeah, I mean, I met Eddie Van Halen all way back, uh... I think it was on the 1984 tour, in 1984, I believe. I was in the UK, uh, Monsters of Rock, Castle Darlington, is that familiar with you? I've heard of it. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I remember Richie Blackmore in the 70s. He was a huge influence, especially after that night of the Frank Zappa concert, too. He must have been there, too, to that show. I don't know whether he read it in the paper, I can't remember. I remember we used to have some wild nights, do you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Yes, I mean, get home in the Yeah, back in the 70s. <laughs> God damn it, I can't even 
remember that goddamn riff. Wow. You know, that sort of uh, 80s rock thing at the end of it, you know. We've covered that song a few times, it's good fun. I'm going to have to relearn it because I can't even remember the goddamn riff. There's a whole lot I can't remember these days, Stevie. Anyway, okay. Okay. Yes, we're tight for time, and I'm moving on to question three. Tight. Tight. For time? For time, yes. Are you so doing that goddamn <laughs> male chauvinist thing again? No, but I've got a limited amount of air time on TV. Hey, goddamn, I'm stuck. I don't need the goddamn air time. It's not you, it's me. Oh, well, we've got... It's all about me. we got ten questions to get through. we got ten questions to get through, and we're on to question three. This one, I yeah, don't know how true. you'll take this. What is your... You're doing it again, God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you Martin. now are all the same, aren't you? What is you your... Give us, you give us rock chicks a real hard time in the industry. It's no wonder. You should, you should lose your job. Question four. How are you God coping damn. now? You are now at a rehab. I gotta go to the toilet, Stephen. Let's just have a little five-minute break. I gotta okay. Go. Cut for coffee. Get damn coffee. It's ten o'clock in the morning. We gotta start a beer, baby. I'm on the beer. Been drinking all night. That's what keeps me going. <laughs> mm. Well, I'm just gonna pat my nose. Let me back in a second. Okay, yes, that's better. <laughs> I'll just pat my nose and, and get on with the interview now. Okay, Steve. All oh, right. Okay. What turns ED on? Turns me on. Um, turns you on. Music. No, sex, no I'm dress, not quite on. sure about these questions, Steve. No, it's about the music. I don't know why you're interested in my goddamn personal life. I mean, what turns me on in the music industry? Yeah, I could say, you know, Led Zeppelin, um, Deep Purple, uh, you know, all the, all the greats from the 70s, Mountain, Whitesnake, mm -hmm. uh, Black Sabbath, uh, you know, the 80s, Van Halen, Dokken, all those guys. But I also like all kinds of things. You know, I, uh, you know, I got a classical influence from my, uh, you know, my mother and all that sort of thing, you know, so. <laughs> Well, this is more of a music question coming up, so and it's yeah, about okay, the upcoming okay. album. I hear you got a new album coming out yes, yes, this yes, Christmas. Yes. What is it called? Tell your fans. Uh, well, we can't really say what it is because we're hoping to release it just before Christmas, and we don't want too much getting out. It's a bit like George Lucas in the Star Wars films, you know. No, so no official so, date. We had a, oh yeah, yeah, before the twenty fifth of December. Mm -hmm. Put it in your stocking for Christmas. Yeah, that's right, yeah. You put it in your stocking uh, before Christmas, everybody. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. That's right. Oh, good. We shall listen to that when that comes out. Ah, okay. I remember, you mean, back in the day, remember we uh, released that uh, song, uh, the Christmas song, I don't know, 1979? Um, that was when I was with Still Vagina. The Still Vaginas. The Vaginas are still here. I mean, you, you know what happened there. <laughs> you know, we split up after about 18 months. We just rubbed each other the wrong way. We rubbed, you know, it's... Just one of those things, you know, clash of egos, all that type of thing. But I, I haven't got really much of an ego, you know what I'm saying? Right. Okay, okay. Question seven. When not touring and dealing with music and making albums, what do you do to pass your time away? Back at home or out and about with family? Goddamn. Um, yeah, uh... What do I do? I'm mean, pretty much on the road all the time, Steve. You don't really, much, you know, you don't really get much time to uh, do all these types of things. But I try and make time when I get home, you know, uh, friends and family and all that type of thing. But uh, It's go, you know, go, I, go. I try and remember the songs that we played back in the 70s and 80s, and that's really, really hard. You know, all the, all the excesses in the 70s and the 80s. Well, you know, it takes a, it takes a toll on a girl, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, like you know, you can take the you can take the Coke Coke addict out of the <coughs> you know, the rock goddess, but you can't take the rock goddess out of the Coke addict. Right. Okay. I don't even know if that makes any sense, but that's what Not really. uh, <laughs> you know, back in the sixties met all these, you know, goddamn No, I wasn't even born in the sixties. What the f Okay, let's move on to question eight. What tickles your fancy when it comes to a oh nice strong damn. drink? See, I thought you were doing it again there. No, 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 not tickling your fancy. If fancy. you think I'm going to ask for sex on a beach, you, you got wrong. I like, I like, oh, you I can like have a cocktail and all that sort of thing. A bottle, you know, as a girl's drink. You know, <coughs> I like wine, I like vodka. 
you know, as we were in hard times, we, we had a record contract fall through back in 19... Uh, was 86, I think it was, and... Uh, there were hard times then, so I was drinking methylated spirits and <laughs> lemonade, but uh, it was quite good. It's not a bad drink, really. I don't know why they don't sell it in the pubs. I don't know. I don't, just don't know. Uh, i got question nine here, and it's come from a fan, one yeah. of your favourite fans. So I'm just chucking it in there. You might not like it, but I'm chucking it in. Okay. Would you do a threesome? You talking music? Are you doing it again? You get no, no, it's not music. It's a threesome. If you do this, then we're going to cut this interview. If you're going to carry on asking questions like that. <laughs> well, that's coming from a fan. Well, we we will move on from that one. Come up to one of the last questions. Where do you think your life will be in five years' time? Probably still on the road, Stevie. You know, my passion's music. Good, good, good. Anyway, we will close it up. Thank you, ED, for coming and talking to me for Rockstone Magazine. This is Stevie and ED signing out. Till next time. Thank you again. Bye. Oh, darling, what are you doing? I feel um, a bit. I'm jet lagged too. We're gigging in Australia over the weekend. We just got back. We're in the UK now, aren't we? Is that right? I forget. Yes. Right, okay. All right, sit yeah. down and I'll. Uh, right, I gotta find a bunch of studios. Oh <laughs> my god, we don't want that happening. Get them all over the place. I need a drink. Jesus Christ. Right, I'm sorry about this. We're usually a little bit more organised than this, especially since I come out of rehab. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I've got a question I about guess, that. I guess you researched your question as well? Pretty much. You know, because we've got you know, I mean, so ones. many interviews. I don't research the questions. They get everything wrong. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Do you know, as, as, as I age, Stevie... Oh, my God! I've done it again! I